my interests. Ever since I was 15, I've always had an interest for the stock market and special vehicles. I wondered if I could make a business out of it. And this is Copart. Copart is a company that focuses on online auctions. And this is their, this is their stock from all the years. What's, what's the problem? People living paycheck to paycheck need vehicles. People need vehicles for their daily necessities, right? For work, school, etc. Transporting goods and landscapers need vehicles to do tough jobs. Who else might need jobs? Who else might need vehicles? Undocumented immigrants living paycheck to paycheck, people with bad credit, people with no driver's license. There's also a stigma about salvaged cars. They say you can't insure them, but you can. In the United States, direct manufacturer auto sales are prohibited in almost every state by a franchise law. So what this means is that Honda can't sell a, a car to a consumer. Ford can't sell a car to you. Mercedes can't sell a car to you. And the solution for this is a personalized service focused on the customer, making sure your needs are met, looking for a specific car. Also, being, having an online presence is good because I can market the vehicles with the right characteristics, make sure the online experience is seamless, offer quick responses when there is an inquiry about a vehicle, with, about one of our vehicles. We can have an in-person in -person customer who wants to look at our inventory and we can pay attention to every detail. What do I need to learn? I need to learn about the laws regarding licenses. I need to have a business license so I can buy all of these vehicles so I won't get fined or taxed. There's all, there, the stigma about the, about the salvage cars, it really pains me to see because this is a 96 Toyota Corolla. And this is this car, we it was actually a salvage vehicle. My father had it, and he managed to get it insured, which is great. Rental car companies will basically total out their cars. They will sell their really perfectly used vehicles and give them to Copart. Well, they will have to buy them for a, for a, price, a set price, but Copart then again takes these cars with minimal to no damage and will put them on, online. Who are my closest competitors? Car salespeople, dealerships. I mean, being a car, being a car salesman in this, in this world sucks. Americans don't have enough trust for, their, for the car salesman. They, they basically think that this profession is dishonest and the ethical standards are very low. What can I do differently? I won't treat people terribly because one time my parents and I, we went to a Paul Blanco dealership. They treated us terribly. And how, did, how does the company expect to sell vehicles like that? How it works. Copart obviously specializes in the resale and remarketing of these salvage and wholesale vehicles. They also have clean, clean title vehicles, not only is they're salvage. But when I search, for, when I do research on a vehicle, I do my due diligence. I do normal, I check for normal wear and tear, scratches and dents, certain hail damage vehicles, clean title, salvage title vehicles, front and end damages, as well as vandalism, depending on how bad it is. And the best part about Copart is that I can go to their lots and see the car physically. You may be wondering how I finance my business. I can work hard throughout a couple of years, but gain financial capital. Or I can ask for a loan from certain family members or the bank, generate profits for the company, leading to more purchases for inventory. Or I can pitch this to a venture capitalist and get us, or get a small business loan. As our professor mentioned before, the Small Business, business Administration can, can also help with that. My business approach. I think I will use a divergent and lateral business approach because they both complement each other on what I want to do with this business idea. On one hand, the lateral business approach is providing personalized service for people looking to buy a vehicle, which requires unconventional thinking slash solutions for problems. 
On the other hand, the divergent business process is something I would focus on because my employees really want to listen to the customer, understand why they need a vehicle and know what they need. Every dealer salesman has a process to lower in customers and it's always the same process. And I want to change that. So here's my business plan. For example, I have a customer who needs a work truck and his budget is under 70 grand. All cash offer probably because he got rejected at a dealership for certain circumstances. I want to focus on the details of the vehicle. So when I do my research, the first step is to always look at the title code and then go on by the odometer, primary damage, and then the estimated retail value. And then if, if that passes through, the next step is to always look at the pictures, always look at the details, always look at the writing on the car, for example, here, here. We have to pay attention to the most important part, which is the engine bay, as well as the odometer, which determines the price of the vehicle. And I also played with this round too. I took the screenshots of the of this vehicle, of this 2022 Ford F-250, and I posted them on Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, I generated quite a response here. People were offering me $53,500 for the vehicle, but if I did have the vehicle, I would actually sell it to them for that price. And here's a fun fact. The Ford F-Series, which is basically the truck everything's based off of, has, is the number one selling vehicle in America. Then again, if we're going by small compact compact vehicles, sedans, or SUVs, it beat it all. So why not just go with the Ford F-150, Ford F Ford F right? The Ford F-250 Super Duty has an estimated value of 89000 the discount, these cars go for about 75% discount on Copart. I've actually seen, I, I saw the car go for around this price. So, Kelly Blue Book values the car at around 77,000 at a high mark and a low of 72,000. If I sell this on a private party, meaning I can sell it to a friend, I can sell it to somebody else, I can get 81 to 75,000 on the vehicle. So here's my Facebook market analysis. So I listed it at 53500 My auction price was 22259 And this is my potential gain of 31241 And these are the actual other gains I can make on the, on the car. My last steps is to check the auction details. Time, date, price, location. You can always inspect before buying. Step four, win the auction bid for the vehicle and pick it up. Step five, I need to make sure the vehicle passes all my inspection requirements. And I need to have a clean vehicle so I can create online exposure to myself because nobody likes a dirty car. Price product service. Offer vehicles at a below market rate and if you are really desperate or if you really need help, I can we can negotiate certain prices for certain vehicles. The product should speak for itself because you're buying a substantial vehicle. I can offer three separate services. One, you can call me. Two, we can do this in person. Three, we can have a concierge service where you can come in we can figure out what type of car you like, pillars of the company, supply chain, marketing, and finance. I think this will be very important for my business. My supply chain always needs to have a consistent number of vehicles in the inventory. I need to market each vehicle and make sure it's gaining interest, in interest by many people online. For example, I can use platforms like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, create an online website, potentially have a physical location, Management is, has to be very important for me. Management can, should always have good leadership. As well as, as a leader, I have to exert influence over other people to help achieve group or organizational goals in our business. And lastly, I would like to thank you guys